What's up everybody, I'm Dever a Dull Moment, and this video is called How to Stop Sucking at Smash. So I'm calling it that specifically because this is not a video about how to get into competitive play, how to start winning against literally everybody. It's really just geared towards people that maybe you've picked up the game or you've been playing for a little while, and you just find that you're not improving. Maybe you're not even having fun because you're getting beat by your friends so often. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how to get into some of the basics and how to start fixing some of the mistakes that are probably causing you to lose a lot of the time. Um, one of the things that made Smash kind of difficult for me to get into was that a lot of really good players who were, you know, used to competitive play and that kind of thing would talk about techniques that were a lot more complicated or use terms that I wasn't really understanding yet. So in this video, I'm not going to use any of those terms and I'm more going to focus on the basics and then when you're ready, you can start moving on to other stuff. One of the first things that people can find intimidating about Smash is the character select screen. There are a lot of different characters to choose from, and every single one of them is gonna play a little bit differently, in most cases. There's not really a right or wrong character to choose. You might be looking at things like tier lists and going, well, this character looks really bad, this character looks really good, but I am really of the mindset that unless you're trying to get into competitive play and you're actually trying to win for money, you should really just stick to a character that you find natural and that you're having fun playing as. Uh, one of the best ways to do this is to just start doing random matches. You can play against CPUs, uh, do training modes and things like that, and just pick a random character. And when you find something that feels like it's kind of working for you, you can pick that. And of course, if you want to try more later, you can always do that as well. One of the first things that I recommend doing before you try and get started is to remap your controls. Um, this is not absolutely necessary, but it's something that a lot of people will recommend doing. The biggest thing that you want to do is remap your right control stick or the C stick if you're using a GameCube uh, style controller. Remap those to be tilts. Uh, tilts are usually accomplished by tilting the control stick in a direction and then pressing A, uh, and that will give you a different attack than either just pressing A on its own or by running and doing a dash attack with A. Um, so that opens a lot more possibilities of what you can do. Now, one of the big, big things that I see pretty much every newer player do when they're playing the game is really overuse special moves. And those are the moves that are by default mapped to the B button. A lot of moves like Kirby's Air Cutter, the Falcon Punch, Link's Sword Spin, uh, Samus's uh, Laser Blast are all big token moves that make you think of Smash Brothers. And you see a lot of beginning players use those almost exclusively. And while it's really satisfying to land those moves, there are a couple of problems with them. The first thing is that they have a lot of either startup or end lag. And all that means is simply that either before the attack hits or after it would have hit, um, you're not able to do anything else. So if you miss the attack, you're just vulnerable. Or, or if they see it coming, they can attack you and there's not really anything you can do about it. Uh, it's really important to familiarize yourself with what moves your character has and also specifically where they're going to hit. You wanna be able to use attacks that are gonna hit behind you, that are gonna to hit to both sides, that are gonna hit up, uh, and you wanna know when and how to place those. One of the best ways that you can do that is simply going into uh, a training mode and start beating up a bot, which is kind of a fun way to get uh, an idea of how to start stringing together some combos and just how to hit a character when they're in a sp uh, specific area. All right, now once you're familiar with your moves and what they do, one thing that I actually recommend doing that might sound kind of weird is to slow down. Now, Smash is a really fast-paced game, so this might sound kind of strange, but the reason I recommend doing that is in order to pinpoint and hit the certain moves that you want to hit. Uh, a lot of the times, if you miss a move, and especially if it has a lot of end or starting lag, that's when someone else is going to be able to grab you and maybe start doing combos, and before you know it, you'll be losing the game. So. What I like to do every once in a while is go into a training mode or fighting against bots, and I'll just try and hit as many moves as I can without missing. Um, by doing this, you'll get a much better feel for where people are gonna land or how a certain move is gonna uh, react in a certain situation. Um, and naturally over time, once you get more comfortable with your, what your moves are doing, you'll be able to play faster and you'll be able to hit more moves more reliably. And you also won't take unnecessary risks and go for moves that you're just not gonna hit most of the time. Now, beating up bots all day is really great, but it's not gonna win you the whole game. There is a huge mental factor when it comes to playing Smash or really any number of competitive games. Uh, so something that is really important that I don't see a lot of beginners doing is actually looking at what the other character is doing and looking for patterns. 
You might find that, for example, with a lot of sword wielding characters like Link, uh, when they're up in the air and you're below them, they're going to try and go for a downward sword to stab you. Now, if that hits, it'll do a lot of damage. Uh, but if you're able to dodge it, they will have some ending lag and they won't be able to do anything, which means that you have an opportunity to react and start turning the tides. Uh, in a lot of cases, there have been players that have, are really good at uh, landing combos, uh, can do a lot of powerful moves, and it might catch me off guard at first, but once I start recognizing how they're maybe trying to trap me or bait me into a certain place, uh, that's when I can start switching things up and kind of fooling them, and then I can start to change the way that the match is going. All right, so these were just some general tips that I think would be really useful to a lot of newer players. A lot of these things are stuff that I wasn't really paying attention to earlier on, and I didn't really understand why I was losing. Uh, and I think that once you get a handle on this, that's when you can start getting to a lot more technical aspects of the game. You can start understanding um, bigger things about how different characters are going to react, uh, how to start reliably stringing together combos, and a lot of more technical aspects. But if you've gone from doing some of the things that I was talking about before, and you start applying some of these techniques, I think you'll see a lot of progress without spending a whole lot of time on the game. Hopefully this was helpful for you. I'm never a dull moment, and I'll see you guys soon.